All right, my name is uh, Dr. Wojtek Waliszewski. I'm the chemistry 10th grade teacher and I'm also the head of agricultural science here at school and I run the garden. There were two factors really that started the garden. One was a, a student of mine called Willy Velez. He was a great kid um, and he was in my chemistry class and he loved, he loved science but he was always frustrated that he could never show how good he was at science. And he, and he came to me one day and he said, why can't I just show you that I know about motor engines? I, I could rebuild it, tell you all about the forces. And so I thought we really need to have a, a vocational way for children to learn. And so I proposed this to Dr. Nagy and to Mr. Shannon, who was the high school principal at the time, to, to set up a garden where we could get kids learning vocationally. So it's not writing things down, it's not taking notes, it's, not, it's more about coming here, experiencing, learning through experience, figuring out solutions to problems that we had, stuff that included science, included math, included engineering, and it all came to part. And one of the most critical factor in us having an agronomy class and helping other students understand where food comes from. So we're helping students and, and everybody else in our community understand the preparation of the land, the use of the land, the use of the space, the resources needed uh, to produce and grow something to the table. And so what we produce in our garden is used here at school for the workers' cafeteria. The Bolivar Garden is a perfect example of what we're trying to do. It connects to our other older social service projects by inviting them in and sharing the know-how as people who can confront complex problems and come up with solutions, and that our social service should not be away from our classrooms. It should be included in our classrooms. When the Bolivar Garden Saturdays first started happening, I thought it was a great opportunity for my kids who don't really have access to a garden because we live in an apartment complex. It was a great opportunity for them to come get their hands dirty. They've always loved digging in the dirt. There are several ways that the uh, garden supports our community efforts or to build community. One is we have students that donate time, we have parents that donate time, we have administrators and teachers that come together and work in the garden during the free time. We also have our students work with our gardeners at school. We have approximately 10 full-time uh, gardeners and the maintenance crew and they also support our efforts there. So our students learn from not just from our faculty members and teachers, but also from our workers who have a, a, quite a bit of knowledge in, of how to grow things that are native to this area. Yo vengo del, del campo, ¿no? Yo soy campesino, entonces yo tengo mucha experiencia en lo que es del cultivo del café. Ok, yo he tenido la oportunidad de enseñarle al muchacho, ¿no? Porque muy bueno, ellos le ponen mucha atención. Esto es con ellos, ¿no? Que se han reventado lo, las manos haciendo esto porque esto es muy duro. One of the intentions of the Bolivar Garden was always to break down the barriers between the students and our school workers. The workers at our school have planted fruits and vegetables, but now they come into the Bolivar Garden not as workers, but as teachers. Yeah, so my daughter actually got to come to the garden with her first grade class, and so they were able to come to the garden with their clipboards what was really great about that activity was that some of the students from the agricultural science elective in high school were able to talk to the first grade students about what was going on here. And so those first graders could think about in 10 or 11 years what they could be doing in the garden. In 2015, after we decided that we were going to go with the garden, we had the land, the basic infrastructure was put into place. Uh, as I said, the shed, the water, the water tanks, and also the, the platform that we have to do potting and planting. And so the first thing we did was say, well, what do we need to do? And, and we had this slope. And the first thing we did was we spent almost a year just building our main terrace. And we didn't really plant anything in the first year, but in the second year, we did start planting things in our terrace. So we planted maize, we planted beans, and then we had the terrace in two parts. And then this year, after the pandemic, what we've actually done the idea is in the terrace we're going to plant things like potatoes, beans, maize, big items, carrots and whatever, the rest of the stuff in the, in the greenhouse. So in the second year we did this, building up our coffee plantation. So I brought seeds from my farm, 
and the, stu the students did the whole work. They germinated the seeds, they selected first, they germinated. Then after six months, the, the plants were almost ready to plant. So they dug the holes, they measured out the, the surface where they were gonna do. They specifically drew line in the slope so that we wouldn't have erosion or we'd minimize that as much as we could. Uh, and then we planted them. And at the end of the first year, we had our coffee plants planted and they were tiny little plants. So for the sustainability project that we had in eighth grade, uh, each person had to work in pairs and develop an idea for the school and the sustainable development inside the school. And something that could be implemented, like something realistic. And we came up with the idea of creating a greenhouse for the school in order to protect the plants that we have here in the Bolivar Garden and to have a space for the community to work together on this garden. What well, it has been a process of like designing and contacting people, talking with experts, um, looking at prices and everything. Oh, throughout this process, me and Sarah, I think we have learned definitely a lot about ourselves and about working together and in teams because this project required a lot of communication skills. I definitely have felt more inclined towards helping the environment after like all the research that we went through to create this project and the effects that a greenhouse can bring to the environment, so I have definitely been more aware of everything that surrounds us and the issues that we are facing. As I said, like one of the great things about having the garden is that we can get students to learn by doing and putting things into practice and taking content that they've had in classrooms and actually putting it into practice. What we're really trying to see with our deeper learning, that kids can come here and can actually do the things that they're learning about. Al profesor no le gusta utilizar químicos, o sea, químicos como eh, fumigantes, nada por el estilo. Entonces, con estas plantas, por ejemplo, las plantas de café, hemos tenido un pequeño problema que se llama la plaga del broca y los consume por dentro dejando que el cultivo muera. El profesor encontró una solución orgánica, consiste en una trampa para la broca, se coloca un vaso cerca de las plantas con agua, un poco un químico que atrae a la broca en vez de a los granos de café. Entonces la broca muere en el vaso y no ataca las plantas. With regards to science, you know, across the curriculum in science, this is an open area for biology, for chemistry, for physics, for maths as well. I know that the 10th grade math teacher comes down here to measure the slope with his students as part of his trigonometry and geometry unit. We had to research everything ourselves. We had to learn, we had to design the greenhouse. We had to look at what materials we needed to do and to create the greenhouse because there, this is not just something you create with things you find like at home center. This is something that has to be very, very specific. And we also became more creative because we had to be very flexible. If we encounter a problem with the material or cost or something, we really had to think about other ways to change this and make it better. And we were always trying to improve these things. Maybe we faced a problem, but we did have to think a lot about it and overcome the problem. Uh, some of the research that's been done uh, with our students and our faculty in the agronomy class has been with SIAT and they, they produce all sorts of seeds and seed, they have a, an important seed bank there and uh, there our students learned a little bit about growing sweet potatoes and that production of the sweet potatoes which is not very common here in, in Colombia and through that process we've also shared that expertise or that knowledge with other institutions, as in Cotolengo, which is southern, so they set up their own garden and they can start to produce some of their own food. Our project consisted of planting sweet potatoes we got from a special farm. These sweet potatoes were planted in the garden and we taught students from other grade levels how to grow the plant and how to take care of the plant. Take that knowledge and uh, bring it to a uh, neighboring community called Cotolengo, near our school. And in that school, where it is an elders' people home, they taught the elders how to plant and grow the sweet potato. And doing this action, they implemented a sustainable habit in the elders, which resulted very successful. Bolivar Garden ha inspirado a la Fundación El Cotolengo para sembrar el camote y mejorar la seguridad alimentaria de esta población que está en condición de abandono y en condición de pobreza extrema. Entonces estas han sido estrategias que favorecen el aprendizaje de nuestros estudiantes acerca de la siembra y de cómo esto puede contribuir al desarrollo social de una comunidad.
The fact that students are running a club, are dealing with money, are actually having to make decisions on how we spend that money, on how we promote the garden, all of these nice soft skills are all being developed because the garden is here. One of the important parts of that is that the students also are involved in the bookkeeping or the accounting part of the production of the garden. So whatever they need to expend, they also need it needs to come for their funds and they have to make follow the accounting procedure to, to know how much money they have to spend because this should be a self-sustaining effort. It favors the emprendimiento and the leadership of the students enfrentando los a dinámicas del comercio con las que realmente no están familiarizadas. And by the end of that third year, we were already starting to collect coffee beans, which is incredible, given that we're at a thousand meters. This is a very interesting microclimate. So parents came and they looked at it, and when we did our first cosecha, our first harvest of the coffee beans, they were there. We peeled them, we worked with it. We came back and the coffee plantation is, in, is huge. The trees are great. They're doing lots of coffee, they're producing lots and lots of coffee. We're now having to put traps in to protect our coffee from coffee borer. Everybody who comes here works on that and it's the greatest thing to see when kids actually use the machine and they pulp the coffee and they get the coffee out and they're like, oh my God, this is coffee. They see the process develop of how the coffee beans get dried, they get fermented, they get dried, and then we take them and get roasted after they've been dehusked, and then they have the final product of the coffee and it's wonderful. And with that, we started up the Don Simon Coffee Club, which students lead, and they've had lots of experience, and we've actually managed to get quite a, a substantial amount of funds that we're reinvesting into the garden, specifically to finish off the greenhouse. We were already producing coffee that we sell at our Boli Bolivar Farmers Market, and that creates funds that we can put back into the garden to make it a bigger and better space for everyone. I really want us to be producing food for the school. I really want us to have our own chocolate bar. Uh, we've already got the coffee selling. We've got our, our Don Simon coffee. That's a go, that's a going concern. I want to do more and there's always more to do. A long range project is for the students to run the coffee shop, operate the coffee shop that will be in our PE complex uh, and sell and market all of our coffee uh, on campus. Land brings us together, land gives us activities, land gives us food, it gives us everything. And we have the littlest kids in El Nido that can come down here and just kind of explore what life is all about, to first graders coming down here to learn about living things and what they need to grow and survive. And my father, who has been coming to school more than 50 years, he said, why don't we go together and join that and learn how to do compost and all those other things. Right now he's 90 years old, so he cannot come down this mountain. One of the formas de, de mantener eventualmente que esto continúa a través del tiempo de los, de los años, trayendo, invitando a los niños pequeños. Vengan acá y trabajen acá con nosotros aquí en el jardín. The Bolivar Garden is open to all those who want to get involved. It doesn't matter if you're a parent, if you're a teacher, if you're the family of a teacher, if you're a student, and it doesn't matter what grade you're in, you're welcome to join us. I really would like to see the school be um, successful in getting the Tri Association Award. We can invest in getting this garden even more sustainable, more automated, so that we don't have to worry about not watering the plants. The greenhouse project run by two of my students and have been pushed by those two students is a wonderful example of how this garden can really get students involved. It's something that's integrated well into our cur curriculum. It's part of our community, which we emphasize so often and um, every day that this is a community and uh, what it means to be part of this community. And it has a long-term effect on our program and it's sustainable, which is all of the things that we're looking for in a, an academic program. We know our project is a community effort, and it's not just our internal community, but how we reach out and help our external community. I think it would be a recognition of the work that we've done here, and a recognition of what we've tried to achieve, and I think it would give us more impetus to keep on going and to keep doing more and more really interesting stuff here at the garden. I mean, I would like to get a real hydroponic system going. I would like to get the greenhouse functioning, which we are going to do. 
the money would help us. More than that, I think it would give real recognition to not only the, the students who've been here for the past six years working on it, but the parents that have come here that worked here. So I, th I think the whole idea of this project is what it was set out to do, to be community building, vocational education, getting people together. And it's done that.